Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Tuesday. I just wanted to start off this lesson by saying a big well done yesterday. We absolutely loved seeing your videos of you all using your adjectives to describe your socks. And my oh my, you have some funky looking socks. Great work. We're still going to be using adjectives today, but we're not going to be describing our socks. We are going to be describing the moon. Let's go and take a look at our lesson. So have a look at this sentence. We're going to start with our do now. Miss Houston must have had her eyes closed when she wrote this sentence because I think there are some mistakes. Let's start off by thinking about the three things we need for a perfect sentence. The first thing is a capital letter. Good job. The second thing is a finger space and the third thing is a full stop. Great work. Well done. So keep that in mind. Capital letter, finger space, full stop. Let's have a look at this sentence. I'll pop that up there. My rocket is big. Oops, -a daisies. Let's look at the start of the sentence. I'm going to get my red pen and correct the sentence with you. What is incorrect about this word? Yes, Miss Houston has done a capital Y. Yeah. Is this capital M mm, okay? Yes, it is because a capital letter comes at the start of the sentence. So I'm only circling my yeah. And that needs to be a small yeah, Miss Houston. Let's see if I can do it here on my laptop. Might look a bit funny, but I'll try my best. And under. All right, not too bad. Okay, my. Then we need a finger space. Has Miss Houston put a finger space in? Yes. Excellent. Rocket. That's fine. Finger space is big. Uh oh. What has Miss Houston done? What has she forgotten to put in between is and big? A finger space, Miss Houston. So I'm going to draw a line straight down like that because we know that this line means we need to pop in a finger space. Is finger space big and I have my full stop at the end so I'm happy yes <gasps> no Miss Houston that is a big huge full stop and we don't do big huge full stops like that we do nice small ones so I'm going to put a big circle around this one right let's check if you have got an everything correct today my small you rocket Finger space is finger space big and a small full stop. Let's do our checklist. Capital letter, check. Finger spaces, check. Full stop, check. Perfect sentence. Great, well done reception. You have helped Miss Houston so much. Our high frequency word <coughs> this week is his. His, his, excellent. His name is Josiah. Your turn. His name is Josiah. Excellent. His name is Luca. Your turn. His name is Luca. Excellent. His name is Omar. Excellent, super work. I just picked three boys in reception. I'll pick another three tomorrow. So off you go now and come up with your, your perfect sentence using the word his. Off you go.
great work. I heard some beautiful his sentences. Great stuff. So off we go to our Walt for today. So today we are learning to know what an adjective is. Know what an adjective is. So we need to be successful. So to do this, we need to know that an adjective describes something. You can find adjectives for the moon and use adjectives for the moon. Right, let's go. What is our star sentence? I'm going to come back here. What is our star sentence? Who can remember? It starts with an adjective is a. I'm going to give you a few seconds. I heard some people saying it. An adjective is a describing word. 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 Super work. Well done. An adjective is a describing word. Good stuff. Well done. Let's go back to our lesson. I'll share it again. And off we go. So an adjective is a describing word. So it gives us information about the item that we are describing. Remember yesterday we had a spider and then it was a big hairy spider. We had a, um, a trainer. We had a red stripy trainer. It gives us more information and I think it makes us um, something sound far more interesting. So let's have a look at the moon. Baby bear travels to the moon. Can we describe it? So I'm going to look at this picture and I am going to describe the moon. So I think the moon is grey. I think the moon is shiny. I think the moon is glowy. I think the moon might be cold. I think the moon looks a bit rocky. There were a few um, adjectives for you to describe the moon. I'm going to give you a few seconds to think of some more. You can shout them out at me. You could say maybe black, white, dark, big. Lots of adjectives for the moon. Right, let's move on. So, Miss Houston has a picture of the moon here. And I think I have made a little bit of a mistake. I've just come up with lots of adjectives here. And you need to tell me whether they describe the moon or if they don't, they go in the bin. So, my first adjective is round. The moon is round. Is that correct? Or is that incorrect? So it goes in the bin. Is the moon round? Yes. So we pop it in our correct pile. Our next one is the moon is p -i -unk, pink. Is the moon pink? No. So where does that one go? In the bin. Good job. All right, our next one. The moon. Oops, the daisy doesn't even go in front. The moon is bright. Is that correct? Or is it going in the bin? It's correct because we know that when it's dark outside, at the night time, the moon shines bright and we can see it in the sky, can't we? Good work. The moon is square. Is the moon square? No. So where does that adjective go? In the bin. Good job. The moon is shiny. 
Is that correct or incorrect? I think it's correct too because it is quite shiny and bright. So we'll pop it over here. The moon is white. We can see some white bits. Excellent. We're going to say that's correct. Now you can use different colors like black or gray. No problem, but white is fine too. The moon is big. Is the moon big? Yes, it is very big. I know it doesn't look very big when it's in the sky far, far away, but if we landed on the moon, it would be very, very big. So I'm going to pop it over here. So the adjectives that we have used to describe the moon are big, white, shiny, bright, and round. Excellent, super work. Now I'm gonna take you over to our written task for today. And we're going to see what we are going to do. Off we go. Here we are. So I have a picture of the moon here for you. You can see it here. And now we need to come up with some adjectives to describe the moon. So the first adjective I am going to write, a nice e easy one, is big. Three Fred fingers, b, i, g, big. Again, b, i, g, big. Last time, your turn. Big, super. Let's spell it together. B, i, and a. Good. Good job. Now, don't forget these lines are here for a reason. Try and write your best on the line. Perfect. So we have big. What could we write here? Hmm. What other adjectives could we, could we think of? What colour is it? Let's say grey today. Let's spell grey. So... We have three Fred fingers. G, R, A, gray. One more time. G, R, A, gray. So I'm going to write this one. How do we spell gray? What's our first sound? G. Excellent. Our next one. R, grr. And then A, it's a special friend we have not done yet. And you probably won't be doing until year one or year two. But there you go. Gray. Excellent work. So our next one. Do we think the moon is hot or cold? Yes, I think it's cold too. Let's spell cold. Four Fred fingers. Three, four Fred fingers, Miss Houston. That's only three. Okay, let's go. K O U D. K O U D. K O U D. Cold. Let's write it. K O U and a D. Excellent. Very good. My next one I'm going to write here is, I think I'm going to write Rocky. Rocky. So, now this is a tricky one. So let's, let's spell rock first. So we need three Fred fingers for rock. Okay, and this one is a special friend. It's got two k sounds. So it goes er, ah, k, er, ah, k, er, ah, k. So what is the first sound I'm going to write? What did we pinch here? An er, excellent, er. Let's go again. Rock, 
R. Oh, excellent work. Ra. Now, R, A, K. Excellent. Now, I know exactly what's going to happen. Boys and girls are going to say, which K is it? Which K is it? Is it our caterpillar K or our kangaroo K? Well, Miss Houston is going to tell you. It's both of them. This is a special friend. K. R, A, K. And then an E. E, yeah, yeah. It's a yeah. And that is how you spell Rocky. Oops, the daisies. I'm going to focus that because that looks like a huh, doesn't it, for you? Oh dear. That cut looks like a huh for you, but for some reason it's very bright. Ah, oh, that's a bit better now. Is it? There, you see, it's a cut. That's not a huh, just in case. Right, let's move down here. We have a, uh, the moon is grey. The moon is big. The moon is rocky. The moon is cold. Hmm, what else could we say? How about bright? The moon is bright. Now, bright. Now, that is a tricky one because I is another special friend we haven't done, but you can just sound it out the best. Try your best and that's all you can do, okay? So, we have We have four fred fingers. We have B R I T Right B R I T Right so Miss Houston is going to show you. B R I It's a special friend that we definitely haven't done. We'll be doing that in year one. And a T B R I T Maybe it would help you if I underlined those special friends. B, R, I, T, right. And Miss Houston's sheet is very bright at the moment for some reason. It's not, ah, that is so much better, Miss Houston. Focus, great. And the last one, this is in red, because this is one I would love you to come up with all by your South. So it would be something that Miss Houston hasn't mentioned yet, okay? So, something Miss Houston hasn't mentioned yet. You could say some, you could say anything at all. You can say a different colour. So Miss Houston is going to say white. So it's in red to see if you can come up with one that Miss Houston hasn't mentioned already. And if you can't think of one, don't worry. Just use one that I have done as well. White. So, wa, ha, I, t, and then e, eh, white. So, I'm going to say my sentences now. The moon is grey. The moon is big. The moon is rocky. The moon is cold. The moon is bright. The moon is white. So there's lots more you could say there. You could say round, shiny. You could say cool. You can say anything you want. We want to see you trying your best to spell out the words that you want to, to write, okay? So try not to ask mummies and daddies. Try and do it by yourself using your Fred fingers, OK? And we don't mind about incorrect spellings. We just want to see people trying their best. Off you go and don't forget to share your um, work on Seesaw. Bye.